if you're just getting into the food business or if you've been around for a little bit and you're looking at the food truck rallies, you know, you've done your due diligence, you've went to these events, you've seen these food trucks with 10 people deep at each truck, you go to festival and you see the kettle corn man. All he's doing is putting kettle corn over the table. The line is 20 deep. He's making money hand over fist. You go to some park during the middle of the summer, you see the shaved ice trailer out there, and they got a line wrapped around. Certainly, this business is fast, easy money. Let's talk about it. This is Mike, the Caesar of concessions. All right, all right. When I first started in a business, I thought I would be rich my first year. Heck, I saw all these other vendors making all this money, and it looked so doggone easy. Little did I know these things I'm about to list for you today were standing in my way and hit me right in the jaw like reality often does. Okay, so first thing up, people do not understand if you haven't gotten into the business how physically and mentally tough this business is. It's, ex it's extremely tough physically. I mean, particularly the older you get. You gotta work outside. 100 degrees in the summer, 10 degrees in the winter. You know, mother nature never sleeps, neither does money. So you gotta get out there and work for it. And it is hot and it is cold. And you gotta lug everything around. And the physical strain it puts on your body as year after year goes along, really wears on you. Another thing is, it's a lot of freaking work. You got to lug everything, right? You got to set up. You got to tear down. You got to find the events. You got to balance work, life, time, right? You, you got you got your work slash life. You got to balance that somehow. That is really tough. Also, you're always fighting and arguing with the boss. Who's the boss? Not your wife. It's Mother Nature. She is a boss over all of us. I got a bunch more things I can't wait to list for you. But before I do have a membership program, it's $1.99 a month. $1.99 a month. You get exclusive content from yours truly. You also get workshops in our Discord server. We do those twice a month. Listening to other vendors who want to be extremely successful like you. It's great. Join the membership team, $1.99 a month. Link will be in the description below. It, the, is your market oversaturated? Well, you don't know until you get in the business. It might not look saturated. It may to your eye before you get in. You don't know until you get in the business if your market is saturated. And lo and behold, if you get in, and it is, it makes it a little tough, particularly for a new person. Next, does your product even sell, right? You, you, know, you might tried stuff that was similar to yours. You may have tried even the same exact thing you're gonna be selling, but you are making it. Your presentation matters, not theirs. So in saying that, does your product actually sell? You don't really know this until you get in to the business, these things are stopping you from being hugely successful your first year. I got a bunch more I want to go over with you, but this video is brought to you by our sponsor, KettleCornMachine.com. They have the best lemonade and kettle corn equipment in the market. Hands down, check them out, KettleCornMachine.com. Okay, next, this happens a lot to people. Will you go broke before your business finally becomes successful? And you're like, how on earth would that even happen? I, I'm going to make a ton of money my first year. Because you don't know what the events are going to do until you do them. And it takes time to build up a book of solid events. Like some of the reasons I listed before. Is your product even going to sell? You don't know. What about the expense of equipment how much is that going to run you what about waste do you even know how to control waste are you going to throw out a bunch of food all the time 
these things are stopping you from being successful your first year and you just don't know what you don't know. Here's another thing that can make it extremely tough to be successful, selling only one product. Yeah, um, we sold two products, lemonade and kettle corn when we first started. It just wasn't good enough, right? It wasn't paying the bills like we needed it to. So we had to expand to other products in order to raise our net profit. And once we started doing things like that, our profit really exploded. Not that you cannot be successful selling just lemonade, for instance. You, you can. There's lots of people that do it. But for a greater success chance at success, selling multiple products is the way to go. But when you're first getting in it, you don't know. Selling one product may be holding you back. Another thing that's going to going to stop you from being successful your first year or maybe your first couple years insurance licensing and and of course the health department what if you're not meeting health department regulations what if your county has a lot of regulations and you have to buy a bunch of stuff to meet those regulations and you just can't afford it maybe you're getting stopped before you even begin right? Health department regulations and taxes and insurance and other licensing fees and hurdles may cause you to not even get started. But that's a shame. Next, the, probably the biggest one, I think, out of all of these, which is why I saved it for last. So if you're one of the, uh, the people that watch all the way to the end, good for you. I think the hardest thing out of all of it, why it's so hard to be successful is the events that you do, right? You just don't know until you do them if you're going to be successful. And, and you go to a fair, okay? And you see all these people buying all these different food products. You don't know what their overhead is. You don't know what their cost is. Just because they got a line five or six or 10 deep every now and again, you might be thinking they're making tons of money. There's a chance that with the vendor fee to get in, insurance, right? Um, health department fees, food, like inventory, set up, tear down, all the banners, all the equipment, that they're losing money at this event. You don't know until you do the events, period. And for me, I'm not, I can only speak for myself. It took me like three years before we started being successful. Others, it takes them five. Very, very few do it in one year. Keep that in mind. I hope you enjoy the content. This is Mike, the Caesar of Concessions, out.